Can you give me one second, sir? Yeah. So, sorry. <laughs> Here, let me give you one of these. Just in... But you see my plate, right? Yeah, John 316. That's, right. a, that's a good so one. I'm, you on know? I'm on board. The only thing I'm, I don't want to talk over him or anything, but the only yeah. thing I was going to say is that <clears throat> in front of abortion clinics all day long. Right. In front of uh, yeah, but if right, you s what, right to Life Walk, you know, in Washington all day long. Uh, in they're wicked. Places. Right to Life is wicked. But the problem. All right. And the reason they're the wicked. The problem I have is okay, that I'm sorry. little kids. Right. Right. Little kids that are not, you know, going to be having any abortions right. anytime soon, like that little girl looking at this, right. these awful pictures. Right. I know these pictures are awful. I'm huge yeah. against abortion. You know, huge, like bigger than you could ever imagine. But I, I just think I agree with him in the right place. And I don't know what their money situation is and what they're spending it on if, if it's not. But I, I have a problem with the pictures with the kids. That's, yeah, I, I understand. And, and I know I know about this. You know, right. I'm a big proponent of uh, of uh, pro-life, anti-abortion. Okay, but all right. So all right. So I listen to patients. Pictures with the kids is the problem. Right. I have. I've I've heard that I, I argument against that tactic. I movies. I don't right. take my kids to, right. that are under 13 right. to PG 13 right. movies. You know, for the gore and stuff like that. Okay. But that gore is just Hollywood gore. You know, I can right. explain to them that's Hollywood gore, but to tell them this is reality. Are, I know it's reality, but these little <laughs> this is what kids, we don't care about. But these, no, every a lot of people do care about it, but these little kids being exposed right. to those pictures. I've heard your argument against that tactic a million times, and here's my answer. Like I understand how you think right now, right? Because I've heard that tactic. Um, people um, explain how they hate that tactic, all right? But here's the thing. Most people have, most good men have a good moral opinion and they do pro-lifey things. In other words, they regulate when, where, and how abortion can take place. They've never worked to make it illegal. The pro-life movement has never put forth a bill to make abortion illegal ever okay. in the history, okay? Abolitionists like me actually, and it talks about it in here, actually put forth bills to make abortion illegal in the United States, all right, in and in Texas, all right? But pastors and good men like you, you know, I don't know you, but I'm saying like you, maybe not you, but like you, don't support the, um, making abortion illegal in Texas. They do nothing to help make it illegal. Well, I live in Florida, first off. I'm just visiting, so right. I go to church up at Hope Fellowship. But yeah. I was on my way to church now when I saw this, and I just thought the little kids right. with these posters, and I'm right. like, I don't let my kids watch r movies, and right. it's fake. Yeah. And this is real, and it's, you know, it's traumatizing right. to little kids, I think. That's well, no, little kids actually agree with me, and they would say, why don't you make it illegal? Because when we talk to little